Welcome back for another episode of The Extraordinary Times. First story is kind of a throwback to uh, that other many weeks ago, actually, when we talked about Ethan Paz, the first boy who was put on a milk carton to try and find him. Uh, he was six years old when he disappeared, and uh, they closed the, the case a uh, long time ago. I mean, it happened to back in, what, 79? Something like that? Something like that, yeah. And, uh, and you know, he, he disappeared, and, you know, they didn't find him. And, you know, 33 years ago, they... Uh, they uh, you know, closed the case, and they just recently reopened it, which is what we talked about a couple of weeks ago. And now a uh, man by the name of Pedro Hernandez has come forth and said that he strangled the young boy. And uh, uh, He actually lost the body, which is kind of strange in my mind, but either way, it is a step forward. So Yeah, that, that's the weird thing. I mean, he admitted to it, and then he, he you know had him in a body bag, and then he went to go get him later to go put him in the ground somewhere and the body was gone so weird weird all around well speaking of murders um this is our murderer segment yeah i uh, I, I don't like cover this one cuz the Trayvon Martin thing i just we way too hyped up there's way time. too much misinformation everywhere either way a uh, little bits come out how uh, George Zimmerman, the alleged murderer, has uh, actually in the past uh, defended a, a black man who was uh, the victim of police brutality and really went after the, the police for this. So really kind of showing not the racist that the media has made him out to be. So hopefully... Wait, the media sensationalizes things? <gasps> and got something completely wrong? Wow! Whoa, crazy! <sighs> Speaking of... Well, we're going to sensationalize just a little because, mm. well, it's President Obama and he talks about... Uh, been recently talking about uh, how Republicans spend wildly and they are, you know, they are the ones that got us into debt. And I'm not an overspender and blah, blah, blah. Well, shiny thing on the screen. All of a sudden, he's, you know... Not an overspender, but he'll spend money on stuff like that? Whatever. Mm. <laughs> Your tax dollars at work. <laughs> Getting him reelected. Yeah. Yeah. Vacations for... Anyway. Maybe maybe it's paid for by the, you know, Obama has way too much money campaign. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's somebody's money that uh, should be doing something better. Just right. saying. His his seven hundred million dollars that he spent to get elected last time could have done so many good things. So many. Moving on, I'm gonna stop talking about him. Right on to the Unabomber. Uh, <laughs> Unabomber, if you don't know your history at all, uh, was a guy who graduated from Harvard um, and then decided to become a serial bomber. He actually went into Harvard at sixteen years old, graduated at what twenty, twenty one, something like that. Twenty because. This year is his 50-year anniversary of, of uh, the class of whatever year that was. That was a long time ago, 50 years ago. 52? And, uh, this 62? Something? That's 62. Yeah. yeah. I can do math. Whoa. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Either way, Ted Kaczynski is his uh, real name, uh, has been in jail for a while now because, um, you know, they caught him, um, and uh, has put in his um, description for the uh, class the, note. The class note for the Harvard alum uh, party, whatever they're going to be having. Um, they make booklets and things, and they give them to their Harvard people. Right. Uh, he lists his occupation as prisoner. Um, his eight life sentences he is currently serving, he puts under awards. And under publications, he put the 50-page uh, manifesto that actually got him caught eventually. His brother uh, recognized the writing style and uh, tipped off the authorities. Um, either way, so yeah, highly, Smart family, just saying. Yeah, highly intelligent guy from a highly intelligent family, snapped and is in jail, 
And, uh, and really, this is just kind of a curiosity, but still, something you really need to, to keep in mind. Don't push people. <laughs> you know those smart kids that you used to pick on in school? Well, they go crazy sometimes yeah. when you pick on them too much. P.S. Don't bully people. That's our public service announcement of the day. They sometimes become unibombers. <laughs> freaky people. Anyways, speaking so of freaky people. speaking of freaky people, that was actually the segue I was going for. Whoa. Uh, totally not on purpose, actually. <laughs> Moving on. Freaky people in California who are pulling people over they shouldn't. Um, well, <laughs> actually shouldn't be pulling people over at all. Uh, a man in a uh, Ford Edge with uh, tinted windows, chrome rims, and paper plates uh, decided he was going to pull over a uh, young man, well, we'll just call him a young man because they don't really disclose who it was, uh, around 11 p.m. on May 11th, and pulled him over to the side of the road and, uh, and proceeded to flash a badge at him and noticed that the guy was drunk because the guy was drunk and uh, said, you know, I'll, I'll take you home, I'll overlook it this time, but, you know, you got to let me give you a ride home. So we gave him a ride home. And then on the 16th, came back while the man wasn't home, and his sister was, and uh, he proceeded to interrogate her about, you know, the man and, and, and his life and their life and... Uh, her husband. And her husband, and uh, it was... It was really kind of an uncomfortable situation. He apparently touched her arm and her leg uncomfortably. Uh, anyways, so, <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this, this uh, um, exasperate, that's the word, exasperates me. Because, well, I've been a security officer before, and people that pretend to be, you know, police officers, pretend to be military people, pretend to be a person of authority, and aren't, Make me sick right here. That's where my stomach is, by the way. <laughs> and 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 this this guy, you know, he came over and was was basically abusing power that a he didn't even have the power to abuse, uh, and b he was you know being creepy. Uh, he left as soon as she said her husband was about to get home. But yeah, the suspect is. Uh, about 40 years old, six foot one, uh, 250 pounds, blue eyes, gray spiked hair. Uh, so if you're in that area, keep an eye out for something like that. Glendale, California. I think I said California, mm -hmm. but Glendale specifically. And, and just in general, if you're being pulled over by someone you're not sure if it's a cop or not, just make sure. There is you know? laws on the books to say if a police officer is trying to pull you over, you have the right as a citizen to go until you are in a well-lit area where you can identify the person as a police officer, the person and the vehicle, mm -hmm. by the way. So, you know, beware. <sighs> <laughs> and on to the last story of the day. Um, I'm just going to cover this real quick, otherwise real I'm fast. going to rant. Yeah. Um, so Turkey has this book that Iran is saying could be a Christianity killer, when really this book, you look at the article, it's hilarious, at least for me, because it could be... You know, 500 years old, it could be 2,000 years old, most likely the 500. Um, but supposedly written by Barnabas, one of the, the followers of, of Jesus Christ, and supposedly supports Islam and, you know, and says, you know, def gives definitive proof that Islam is the only religion. Either way, it's stupid. Uh, <laughs> and the, the important thing between the, whether it's 500 years old or 2,000 years old, Problem is, if it's 500 years old, then somebody who lived far, far after Muhammad, uh, you know, made a fraudulent copy of the Gospel of Barnabas, which is what it tells itself to be. And if it's 2,000 years old, whatever. <laughs> yeah, either you, you don't know if it's authentic. One yeah, you other. can't. You can't ID it as authentic. And Iran's like, you know, spouting this rhetoric of, oh, this is going to kill Christianity, because every other attempt to kill Christianity has worked. <laughs> You know, they had wars about that, right? right. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i go crazy if I go on. So. Just check out the article. Either way, we're done here. We're done here. Thank you so much for watching Extraordinary Times. I'm Jeremy. I'm AJ. And be aware.